And now I can turn it around and have a look at the writing that's been hiding underneath. So no one's seen that writing for four or five thousand years. Yeah, the only person that's seen it previously is the one who wrote it. A leak from a research lab in Veracruz is shaking the world of archaeology. An AI system designed to see patterns humans can't has found the key to the Olmec language. But this is no Rosetta Stone. The translations speak of cosmic cycles, resource maps, and a type of logic so alien that it's raising an alarming question. Who or what were the Olmecs really talking to? The Secret in the Machine We were told the Olmecs were Mesoamerica's earliest high culture, the mysterious civilization that came before the famous Maya and Aztecs. They left behind giant stone heads and strange artifacts, like figures holding mysterious handbags, identical to bags seen in ancient Sumerian art and even on a pillar at Gobekli Tepe, thousands of miles away. For decades, their symbols remained a puzzle, a language lost to time. Truth be told, most experts thought they were just decorative carvings. They were wrong, dead wrong. Something incredible is happening right now, far from the glare of mainstream news. Behind the locked doors of a university in Veracruz, Mexico, a specialized team has been feeding Olmec symbols into a new kind of artificial intelligence. This isn't some simple program, it's a hybrid quantum system, a machine that combines pattern recognition with language models trained on thousands of ancient Mesoamerican designs. It doesn't translate words. Instead, it finds connections, linking the ancient symbols to celestial events, farming cycles, and cosmic maps. The project was supposed to be a quiet academic exercise. That changed when the machine started spitting out results. The initial findings leaked out not through official papers, but through encrypted messages on academic forums. The AI had found something. It was seeing a hidden logic in the carvings, a deliberate system of information. And as the data became clearer, a sense of deep unease began to spread among the researchers who saw it. They were looking at messages from 3,000 years ago, but the voice speaking to them didn't sound human at all. What the AI found wasn't a language of gods or kings, but a cold, calculating blueprint. The first breakthrough was staggering enough to rewrite history books. The AI identified a repeating sequence of glyphs that it correlated with stunning accuracy to the Venus Synodic Cycle. It described a sun serpent that opens the earth every 52 seasons, a perfect match for the celestial event that would later become the cornerstone of Maya astronomy. This alone proved the Olmecs had advanced celestial tracking systems centuries, maybe even a thousand years earlier than anyone ever believed. But that was just the warm up. Another cluster of symbols, once dismissed as mere decoration, turned out to be a sophisticated calendar. The AI's analysis showed it tracked not just solstices, but also lunar eclipses with a precision that would be remarkable even today. This wasn't just stargazing, it was a complex astronomical record. The Olmecs weren't just artists, they were scientists. They were encoding the patterns of the cosmos, the secrets of timekeeping, and maybe even myths passed down for generations. Then the messages got stranger. The AI flagged a distinct coiled spiral symbol. It appeared over and over, always next to what the researchers cautiously called an um, energy map or offering chart. This wasn't about the stars anymore. The system seemed to be tracking resources, maybe water sources, mineral deposits, or even the flow of some unknown natural energy across the Olmec heartland. The very same spiral appeared at different Olmec sites separated by vast distances, hinting at a standardized language far more advanced than ever imagined. It was a system of knowledge, a scientific notation for manipulating their world but astronomy and resource mapping were just the beginning. 
The AI soon flagged symbols that had nothing to do with the sky or the earth and everything to do with manipulating life itself. This is where the story turns from academically fascinating to deeply disturbing. Among the thousands of symbols, the AI focused on one pattern that made the research team's blood run cold. It was a spiral, but not just any spiral. The system consistently identified it as a representation of a double helix. Of course, the Olmecs from 3,000 years ago couldn't have known about DNA. So what was this symbol doing in their texts? Believe it or not, the AI mapped the symbol's use across dozens of artifacts. It almost always appeared in contexts related to fertility, growth, and what looked like agricultural lineages. It was as if the Olmecs were tracking the biological inheritance of plants. One anonymous researcher noted in a leaked memo, the statistical consistency is hard to ignore. The spiral appears with quantitative markers that seem to track changes across generations, almost like they were documenting selective breeding programs. They weren't just growing food, they were engineering it. Then came another symbol, a step triangle inside a circle. The AI's heat map showed a shocking connection. This symbol appeared with overwhelming frequency on artifacts found near basalt quarries the very places the Olmecs got the stone for their colossal heads. More specifically, it was linked to areas with unique thermal properties, like natural hot springs or volcanic zones. The implication was mind-boggling. The Olmecs may have understood and used thermal engineering, perhaps to help them quarry and move those massive stones. This wasn't human intuition or myth-making. The AI was revealing a system of cold, hard data genetic modification, thermal engineering, and celestial mechanics. This is the source of the conspiracy theories now swirling around the project. This knowledge feels too advanced, too alien. It brings to mind those strange handbags identical to those held by the Sumerian civilization bringers. Was this knowledge from the Olmecs or was it given to them? The evidence was pointing not to a lost human history, but to an instruction manual left behind. And now someone wanted to shut the whole project down. Hitting the emergency brake. Suddenly, the project went dark. It was as if someone threw a switch, plunging the most exciting archaeological discovery of the century into a black hole of silence. A senior researcher from a prominent Mexico City lab, a respected man who had dedicated his life to Mesoamerican history, sent out a formal request for a complete publication pause. His name was whispered on encrypted channels, a name now associated with fear. In an internal memo that was never ever meant to see the light of day, he wrote with a sense of barely controlled panic, the implications are too significant to rush this process. The data is not behaving as expected. We need time to understand what we are looking at before we share it. We may have made a terrible mistake. But what were they so afraid of? What could possibly make a team of world-class scientists want to bury a discovery this huge? The answer, according to the secret conversation still happening between a few terrified team members, is simple. The fear wasn't about the AI being wrong. The fear was that the machine was 100% right and humanity was 100% not ready for the answer. The problem was that the glyphs contained more than just advanced science. They contained practical, highly structured, and coldly logical data. We're not just talking about a few interesting notes. We're talking about schematics. We're talking about precise quantities for things that shouldn't have been quantifiable 3,000 years ago. The AI identified symbols that seemed to denote specific mineral content in soil down to parts per million. It found markers that tracked water salinity in estuaries and even seemed to predict weather patterns. Then there were the yield predictors. These weren't hopeful prayers to a rain god, they were complex formulas. As one shaken programmer wrote on a protected forum, it's like they were running algorithms. The glyphs show a specific planting pattern, and if you follow it, the AI predicts a crop yield increase of over 200% even in drought conditions. This isn't religion. This is a user manual for the planet. They were plans, 
step-by-step -step instructions for managing the land on a scale that modern science is only now dreaming of. The Olmecs, or whoever gave them this knowledge, weren't just living in nature, they were programming it. This immediately created a terrifying ethical nightmare. The AI wasn't just translating history, it was unlocking a comprehensive map to resources, untapped mineral deposits, huge underground freshwater aquifers, and patches of earth with almost supernatural fertility that are all still there, still valuable today. The question exploded within the project. Who owns this knowledge? Does it belong to the university which hosted the research, or does it belong to the private tech company that developed the proprietary quantum AI, a company that was already seeing endless dollar signs? Or does it belong by right to the descendants of the Olmec people whose ancestors created these symbols? Before anyone could even begin to answer, the shark started circling. Several massive, world-spanning agribusiness corporations began making quiet back-channel inquiries. They had heard whispers and they wanted in. They didn't care about history. They wanted the data on those drought-resistant cultivation techniques and the natural pest management systems. This was knowledge that could be worth not just billions, but trillions in a world facing climate change and famine. But the most concerning fight was over the sacred knowledge. Many of these powerful symbols were found in ritual contexts on objects used in ceremonies. What if the AI decoded the exact location of burial sites that were meant to remain hidden forever? What if it translated the specific words and actions of a sacred ritual, a ritual that indigenous communities today believe holds immense power and should never be used by outsiders? As one passionate indigenous rights advocate warned the team in a heated call, you are playing with fire. These are not just symbols, they are the spiritual DNA of our people. In your hands, it's just data. In the wrong hands, it is a weapon that could be used against us. Some things are not meant to be known by everyone. The academics were paralyzed with fear. The corporations were preparing to wage a legal and financial war, and the indigenous communities were being locked out, their heritage about to be sold to the highest bidder. The project was tearing itself apart, but in the middle of all this human chaos, the AI kept working. It hadn't just found maps to resources, it found a map to a very specific place, a place that according to every known map wasn't supposed to exist. Of all the thousands of decoded glyphs, one stood out. It was complex and beautiful, but also deeply strange. The team started calling it the gate symbol. It was a central, eye-like circle framed by two mirrored stepped pyramids that seemed to lead down into the earth. Around it were precisely curved arcs that the AI confirmed were solar markers, tracking the sun's exact position during the solstices and equinoxes. The AI flagged this glyph with extreme significance, noting one chilling fact. It almost always appeared next to what could only be interpreted as directional markers and geographic coordinates. As one young archaeologist bluntly stated in a hushed voice, forget metaphors, this thing is literally pointing somewhere. With trembling hands, they fed the coordinates into their geographic information systems. For a moment, there was nothing but the green expanse of the jungle on the screen. Then, a single red dot blinked into existence. It highlighted a previously undocumented ridge system in a remote, almost inaccessible part of Tabasco State, approximately 37 kilometers east of the major Olmec center of Levanta. This area was considered empty, untouched wilderness. They immediately tasked a drone with a LiDAR scanner a device that uses lasers to see through the thick jungle canopy and map the ground beneath. What came back was impossible. The scans revealed a sprawling complex of perfectly straight lines, right-angled plazas, and giant circular platforms completely hidden by 3,000 years of jungle growth. They saw a central causeway over a kilometer long and platform mounds more than 30 meters high. 
Field teams were scrambled under unbelievably high security, accompanied by armed guards with orders to keep everyone out. Their initial ground-penetrating radar scans, a kind of X-ray for the Earth, confirmed what the LIDAR had hinted at. There were massive buried structures down there, but there was more. They detected hollow chambers, a network of what looked like tunnels, and a central structure that gave off a bizarrely dense reading, unlike any known stone. They had found a lost Olmec ceremonial complex, an entire ghost city hidden for millennia. One of the lead researchers noted in a field log, it's as though it was intentionally designed to be invisible unless you knew exactly what markers and what time of year to look. Markers that had been preserved in stone for 3,000 years. The preliminary dating from soil samples suggested the complex could predate even the earliest known Olmec centers potentially rewriting the entire timeline of civilization in the Americas yet again. The AI had led them right to it. They had found the place the symbols pointed to, but as they stood at the edge of the silent hidden city, the final most terrifying translation for the gate symbol was just coming through from the lab. It was a translation that explained what the gate was for revealing a purpose so profound, so unbelievable, and so alien that it challenged the very definition of what it means to be human. This story is unfolding right now. If you want the latest discoveries and leaked findings, like this video and subscribe. Should this knowledge be shared with the world or are some secrets better left buried?